What's crack a lacking dudes? We got a cut test today of this badass PM2. This is the Spyderco Paramilitary 2 Warncliffe. I've already done a cut test video on the regular PM2. Um, but I have to do it again with this warning, man, because uh, it just absolutely destroys everything it comes into contact with. It is gnarly. Um, I got this a while back, uh, a few weeks ago. And I've carried it so, so much um, since i gotten it. Um, uh, it's such a good work knife. It's really insane. The blade steel is S30V. And um, I'm going to do, do some cutting for you guys. Kind of show off what this thing can do. Uh, you saw I cut the paper there at the beginning to show you that we got a nice edge on it. This is the factory edge that has been nicely stropped up. Let's do a little bit of cardboard to start off. breezes through it the blade stock looks to be um, pretty pretty identical to the uh, leaf shaped or drop point version um, but the tip does seem to get a little bit more acute on this Warren Club version than the drop point just the blade shape alone you know the, the geometry is really not that much different as far as thicknesses but just the fact that it's a Warncliffe um, with a really aggressive tip is just gnarly, man. It makes all the difference, especially for these utility cuts. This is this is probably now my one of my best utility cutters. Um, you can get so much pressure into the tip uh, just because of the the way the handle is shaped, how ergonomic it is. It's just gnarly, man. Um, it, it feels like having a, a, a raptor's talon. It's just gnarly, man. It just rips. It rips into things. All right, let's see. What do we got next? I think we're going to the glove. Or no, yeah, let's let's test out the edge after the cardboard. Piece of cake. Still got a good edge. Nice bitey edge. All right, let's do the glove test. Just bought a new pair of gloves yesterday, so I'm cutting up my old ones today. I got a couple holes in them, so time to retire. I go through a lot of gloves as a welder. They just, the uh, the threads burn up and they start splitting. So check it out, man. Like a piece of cake. Like a freaking piece of cake. No sawing, just one pull through and it's through the cut. You can see all the layers in there. I usually do three, throwing in a fourth one just for fun. I'm really, I'm really loving the micarta scales I put on this too. These are from uh, RGT, and they're they're called the uh, coarse canvas micarta scales. And there's a lot of different micartas that you can get on there at RGT, but these were the ones that I saw that really uh, spoke to me, and. Um, Really, really, really loving them. Let's try the strap test. This is a wide strap. A lot of knives have trouble going through this all the way. Let's see how the PM2 does here. The Warney PM2. By the way, the Warncliffe PM2, I guess, was a cutlery shop exclusive and still is to this day the only exclusive that, uh, the only retailer that's done a Warncliffe PM2 is cutlery shop. So we almost got all the way through, so close. I'm gonna try another one here, see if I can get it. I know I went through this stuff in one cut before. I think it was with a nice, a nice new fresh edge though. Yeah, so close, man. So close. At the end of the video, I, I do it again with, um, after a little bit of stropping and you'll see, it, it blazes through it. Um, so yeah, the cutlery shop was the only retailer, or you know, whatever shop. I think they have a, a brick and mortar as well uh, to do a Warncliffe PM2. I thought there was a few, uh, a few uh, exclusive Warn Warney PM2s, but no. All right, the polypropylene rope blasted through it, not a problem. That also is a very difficult test for knives. I would say most knives that I test do not go through that the first try. Also trying some uh, plastic strap. This is kind of like the strap that you would see on a pallet. 
big pallet of stuff. It's like ratcheted down and clipped. Um, it's a very, very hard plastic. PM2, not, not an issue. <laughs> not an issue at all. Like, it's not even there. <laughs> Man, I love this thing. Uh, you can get a version of this right now uh, from Cutlery Shop. And look at that, the edge is still there. Still easily slicing the paper. Except right there, I kind of messed up. But look at that. After the straps, after the hard plastic, after the rope. Impressive, man. Spider Co. I'm telling you. You guys already know. But they do the best heat treats for production knives. Here I'm trying to demonstrate just the, the claw-like nature of this, uh, this blade shape. How it can just dig into material. I couldn't really think of a good way to show it. Um, but you just have to take my word for it or try one. It just it digs into stuff. It just digs in. You can see, you wouldn't be able to do this with a, even a, a nice low-tipped uh, drop point. No way. Not even close. So yeah, you can still get a version of this at the cutlery shop. Um, I believe it is Orange G10 with CTS XHP blade steel, which is pretty badass. Um, I don't know if you can get this S30V version anymore, but I'll link it down below if you can. I'll link the uh, the XHP one as well. So just cutting this kind of like cardboardy material, trying to show it just ripping into stuff. I don't know. I'm just cutting stuff at this point. <laughs> I'm just destroying everything in sight. That edge, man, it's still good. I'm going to do a couple more glove tests, uh, glove cuts, because why not? Look at that. After all the testing we've done. I love this knife. I also have a copper uh, lanyard hole plug installed on this guy. Uh, I really like it. Um, you know, I have um, a brass one on my other PM2. So I figured it'd be kind of cool uh, to have a, a copper one on this one. Uh, it just patinas really nicely, and since I don't usually put lanyards on my PM2s, um, it's just a, a nice, a nice looking touch. You can see a good picture of it on my Instagram. Um, so uh, we're gonna give it a little bit of a strop here and uh, see how well it responds. I already know it responds very well. A little bit of strap in here. It's a really easy knife to strop and sharpen just because it's a straight, it's, you know, it's a straight edge. No movement of your hand as you're pulling it across the strap, just nice and straight across. Easy to get a very, very good keen edge on this guy. And man, does it take a sticky edge. Check this out. I gotta grab another piece of paper. Um, check this out. So that was not much strapping at all. Bam! Like it was before we started. Gosh. And now I'm trying to strap again with this new fresh edge. And I say fresh edge, but man, you saw how long I stropped. It was like 20 seconds. Um, and we're already back to this. Watch. Bam! Clean. Clean through. Doing another one just for fun. Bam! All the way through. <laughs> this is such a good cutter, man. This is on par with my Nightshade. The nightshade also did really well with the strap and the rope tests. Not as good edge retention on the nightshade because it's a 154cm. Um, so, you know, while this is a different blade shape, it's similar as, you know, because the, you know, it's not a, 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 a tip that's pointing down, maybe slightly, um, but it's just, it's an aggressive worn cliff and it traps the material. So there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Um, really recommend this PM2. Not only does it 
cut amazingly. It just looks badass. I think I even like this version of the PM2 better than the drop point. Um, it just cuts even better, man. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like the video before you bounce out. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace and love, dudes.